Hey guys, Mr. Mitchell here, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at momentum, so let's get started. The first thing to look at is the definition of momentum, and it says here that momentum is the product of mass and velocity. So if an object has a mass and it's moving with some velocity v, then we say it's got a momentum. Momentum is a vector quantity, which means it will have a magnitude and a direction, and here's the equation for it. So we give momentum the symbol small p, and we have here that p equals mv, where p is momentum measured in kilogram meters per second, m is mass measured in kilograms, and v is velocity measured in meters per second. Now a way to see why we've got units of kilogram meters per second is, well, because we've just got the product of mass and velocity, the units of mass are kilograms, the units of velocity are meters per second, so because those two are multiplied by each other, then we just multiply the separate units together and we get kilogram meters per second. In more general terms, momentum is linked with something called inertia, and this describes how difficult it is to stop a moving object, or how difficult it is to start moving a stationary object. The greater the momentum an object has, the harder it is to stop it from moving. So a way to think about this is imagine you're running away from a massive boulder, where the boulder has a large mass and it's obviously moving with some velocity, then it's going to be hard to stop that boulder because it's going to have a large momentum due to its large mass. It would also be pretty difficult to make the boulder move in the first place. It's also important to note that the momentum of a moving object will be in the same direction as its velocity. Since momentum is a vector quantity, direction is important, we've already seen that, we define objects moving to the right as moving in the positive direction, and objects moving to the left as moving in the negative direction. Now this is the sign convention that you've actually seen before when we did motion time graphs. So this idea of objects moving to the right having a positive velocity, and objects moving to the left having a negative velocity, is going to be really important when we're doing problems on momentum and conservation of momentum. So for example, in the case below, object A has a momentum of 15 kilogram meters per second, because we take our mass multiplied by the velocity, so we get 5 times d is 15 kilogram meters per second, and it's it's positive because the object is moving to the right, whereas object B has a momentum of minus 8 kilogram meters per second, and we can see that because we've got a mass m of 4 kilograms, a velocity v of 2 meters per second, but this is moving to the left so it's going to be negative, so that gives us p equals mv as 4 times minus 2 gives us minus 8 kilogram meters per second. So here we have a positive velocity and here we have a negative velocity, so therefore our overall momentum here is positive and our overall momentum here is negative. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful, if you did give it a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.